What is going on, YouTube? Uh, this is Blind Assassin Nick Tao. Um, been doing good. Been like running errands lately. Uh, you know, uh, depositing a check to getting a trimmed haircut. So getting like a taper at least. Um, you know, uh, my nephew's graduation is next Friday, so. I'm gonna like leave early, um, you know, leave early around work. So, uh, just trying to, you know, adapt and just want to see my own nephew graduate from high school. So, um, my grandmother passed out, according to my older sister. So, um, sad. My grandmother's doing fine. Um, it's just that, you know, um, she been like walking. She's my grandmother known for walking like two miles, um, you know, and luckily somebody, you know, called a, you know, emergency and took care of her. So, um, for me, well, I'm doing good, uh, lately, just got a pay raise, you know, they been there for a year, so my last, last month will be my anniversary, uh, April 10th to be Pacific, so, um, I'm just chilling, uh, bought my tickets, uh, to go down to Miami this summer, um, trying to debate whether I'm either going to do a live stream or just do like a vlog or like a vlog journal, if you will. So I'm going to be there for four days. So, um, which is ironic because when I come back, it's going to be the first of July. Then after that is, you know, next thing you know, uh, of course, Independence Day is around the corner. So that's a three day difference. And we get paid without, um, you know, working. So we get, you know, pay off, like holiday pay off. So, which is actually superb. And yeah, um, I've been doing good. So I'm feeling blessed every single day. Uh, just stay out the way, then really the temperature been like rising too much as far as humidity goes. So um, I just been, you know, maintaining my peace, you know, not avoiding going to like clubs and bars, which is nonsens nonsensical to go to emotionally and spiritually and financially, uh, especially so. Uh, Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go down there and then it's actually my first time, my very first time going down to, uh, Miami, Florida. Um, I haven't purchased my hotel. Um, I didn't like purchase the hotel just yet. I'm not trying to like linger too much, but, um, but let's just say my brain actually had a heart attack. You know, just, you know, uh, that was a car kind of spooked me, but, um, and even taking a plane, uh, down south for the first time as well. So I'm very amazed, um, you know, going down there and, I just gotta like, you know, just raise my money up since I get paid um, every other week. Um, then I can like use that. Um, so since I get paid on the 17th, so I paid yesterday. Um, I can like use that. Um, and on top of that, I got, I got a, uh, it depends. You know, my, uh, my hairstyle is gonna uh, retwist my hair. Uh, depends, I have to say, because uh, her uh, one of her children is graduating from high school as well. So 
uh, it depends. It's, it's partially, it's somewhat up in the air, but you just have to see. So, um, yeah. So I'm about to purchase my tickets down there. Uh, well, actually, my hotel. I didn't book a hotel just yet, unfortunately. Just got to save up once more. Then, you know, of course, of course, um, I have to pay my bills for this house. So, um, on the 31st, you know, because I uh, pay my bills like every last month. So, yeah, just trying to get myself financially organized. Um, Man, and plan on getting back into bowling. I was planning on bowling last Wednesday, but I was like really tired. I was so so tired. Uh, it was like really hot for springtime, which is a bit bizarre. But um, I guess it's had to do with like global warming. I don't know, but um. Yeah, I never been. I've never been on a plane before. So um, my plane is Allegiant. Uh, it's a good service. Everybody have like mixed mixed feelings about it. Mixed reactions. Excuse me. With um, Allegiant, so. Uh, Yeah, so I uh, sorry I'm just contemplating what I'm about to say, but um well I actually like learned about and this is the topic I want to talk about really is what I really uh learned from my grandparents divorce. Um I wasn't around when they got divorced, of course. It's just between mom and her two older brothers, which are my uncles. So um what I learned from it is uh, learning to forgive. Um, that's what my uh, grandmother did, and she even went to her ex-husband's funeral, which took place like uh, like 11 years ago. My uh, grandfather passed away uh, around like 2013. Um, man, I feel emotional talking about it, but... Uh, yeah, he passed away um, due to natural causes, you know, obviously. Luckily, he didn't die from, like, from criminal activity, so. Um, but all I had was an obituary, you know, that's why I brought it up. And my uh, grandma didn't really hold a grudge. She she forgave him. I don't know how many, I don't know how many years she you know, forgave him, but, um, remember recently, last Thanksgiving, I did talk about, question her about, like, um, how was, you know, uh, what was it like to be with Otis, or what was the, how did y'all first meet each other, and there were, like, some really good, you know, memories she gave me, and, you know, uh, You know, she actually for she gave me some like some good stories. It was pretty brief, but <sighs> excuse me. But I actually, you know, experienced and I met my grandfather a couple of times, and that was when I was like ten or thirteen. Um, I haven't spoke to him ever since, but you know. Being with him just spiritually alone was pretty, you know, at that particular age was was actually a um, spiritual moment. He was humble. He was quiet, like my grandmother was telling me. I um, remember we went to a, a restaurant 
And uh, I think it was like Golden Corral, I have to say. And it was just the four of us men, her two other, like his uh, eldest sons, and um, me, like me and my grandfather. So um, it was very short. I mean, he was a short guy, but, um, but in, like in, in one of his uh, marriage, like in his older photos, which was like black and white, he was like taller than my grandmother. I mean, which was surprising, but when I was like with him, he was like much shorter than me. But, um, but hey, uh, time time flies. So um, I remember when I was like just talking to him, you know, I just felt his presence was like pretty peaceful. You know, he wasn't toxic nor he wasn't toxic to his ex-wife at the time. Um, he did, he was in a relationship, uh, with this, uh, older lady named Laura. Their name was Laura. Um, she might have passed away. Um, uh, because I've seen her since 03. But, man. In a sense, though, it feels scary talking about it because, you know, I, I just... I don't know, I just miss those times, you know, spending time with just having like a manly, it, it just, it was just so extremely rare because it was like a lot of trauma behind closed doors, my mom and, you know, too much judge, judgmental uh, questioning, so much negative things that was like going on in my life. And, uh, you know, just feeling trapped and confined and, you know, in on the feminine side of the family. So, I uh, wish I can have those days back. But when I actually learned about, you know, about their divorce, uh, at least they forgave. And when I was, when I was like riding with, you know, my, uh, well, before, this is when I was like in the kitchen and my grandma was like eating breakfast. And I remember she was telling me to get ready for, uh, you know, go with my grandfather. And um, they spoke, you know, they say good morning or they, I mean, when he came to the door, you know, they both spoke to each other, say hi, you know, and. No, it wasn't like they was ignoring each other or anything. And there was, there was at that particular age where, you know, like it was just really like this getting way too short on the garage, especially when you're a senior citizen. So, I'm trying to adjust my controller. Hold on, guys. So, um, you know, if I just wish uh, I had like a like another, no, like people can just act, act, you know, just have like reconciliation, like after a divorce, and compare it to have like a nasty one and like not never talk to each other again, because. You know, my grand my grandmother did abuse my uh verbally and verbally, emotionally and physically abused my mother. Uh according to my mom, uh, which was been revealed a few years ago. And um you know, there it was a it was a lot of you know just like there was just friction between her and my mom and like me like me and my mom so it was like it was just a never-ending cycle 
And so, but yeah, um, I just like learn something new every day. And now my grandmother is 90 years old. Uh, I just want to, you know, live her, you know, optimistic life and continue on. But, you know, if you, like, met my grandmother, she's, she's very nice and kind. And, like, once you see her, she, you thought she was, like, 70 or 80 years old. Um, she's been blessed for, like, 90 years. So. I mean, when my sister told me that she passed out, you know, it kind of really put me in a, put me in a little bit of anxiety. I didn't want my grandma to pass away just yet, you know. Um, not to say like rush the process or anything. Like it's, I, I'm not saying that, but you know, um, I learned that like you know the men side of the family are pretty humbled and down to earth. It's just that the the female side of my family, of course, is emotional and can be toxic at times and can be emotionally hurtful. So, you know, I love them, but you just gotta like learn to like continue loving each other because, you know, when you bring children to the world, you don't want to let, let that emulate into them, then all of a sudden, um, they have a nasty divorce and, you know, and just a like ongoing cycle, you know, um, but I feel, you know, pretty humbled and, um, uh, pretty neutral. So, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. This is Blind Assassin MGTOW. Um, hopefully I'll come with another video that I can think about, uh, some topic I can talk about. Um, but, um, I'm going to, you know, play some GTA 5, um, on PS4. So, talk to you then. Have a safe day, a safe weekend, and stay out of trouble. Deuces.